uh, be a great challenge for us this week. Just a whole a whole new challenge, you know what I mean? Kevin, I know everybody's talking about, you know, the scoop and score that wasn't for you the other day. I mean, when something like that happens and the official may or may not have blown the call, how hard is it to flush that and, and just go on with the game? Or is it? I flushed it during the game, honestly. Uh, we see it all around the league every single week. You know, some calls on one game is called one way, and it's, you know, it's not always uniform based upon, you know, what officials you have. Sometimes it actually works in our favor. This time it didn't. And I just, you know, once it happened and they did, we didn't get the call, obviously I was kind of upset about it, but, you know, you just move forward. You were talking about, you know, the Chargers offense. I know Eckler's a little banged up, but he can do so many different things. How, how tough is he to kind of, you know, plan against? Yeah, Eckler's one of the best backs in the NFL, bar none. Just what he can do. Running the football and also catching the ball at the backfield. He's been an elite running back for a while. He's a guy that you don't really see guys get clean big hits on it because he's very, very strong. I mean, if you see him in the offseason, the way he works like, out. He squats, he squats like 700 pounds. Well, it's it's like very that. reminiscent to Derrick Henry. <laughs> yeah. But just on the opposite spectrum, he's short, kind of compact. Yeah. But that guy is strong. I've seen him doing pull-ups with one arm or something like that. So, uh, like I said, very, very elite back. And uh, if he plays this week. Uh, he's going to be a big focal point. We have to stop. Your quarterback obviously is taking a lot of heat after what happened on Sunday with the three interceptions. You've been around him for a long time. Any doubt in your mind? You know he's going to bounce back. Yeah, I don't have any doubt. Uh, Brian Tannehill has, has played really good football for us for a long time. He's had some bad games. He has some really great games. And I think just for him being a veteran, been in this thing a long time, uh, I don't think he's going to let one game determine what his next game is going to be. And I mean, if you watch around the league, there's a lot of really, really good quarterbacks, really great quarterbacks, has some bad games. You know what I'm saying? So I would definitely expect him to bounce back. Nah, not at all. I mean, that's a whole new year. I don't think it wears on us at all. I just think, you know, in this, in this league, it's hard to win games. Uh, we got really close to winning one and it didn't happen. Um, I think this week is going to be a whole new challenge, and we can try to go out there and just get a W. I don't think the win, the losing streak is anything that plays on anybody's mind, uh, from the players even the coaching staff. To be able to stop the run first, because they ran the ball pretty well last week. Um, they more balanced this year, um, you know, so they act, they actually, actually are running the ball a little more. Um, but we have to be able to mess, um, I would say, not mess, but throw off Herbert's timing. You know, he liked to get in the rhythm. Uh, we have to be able to stop the run first. But like I said, we have to be able to affect the quarterback to be able to win this game. And, you know, I, I like our matchup um, up front against the offensive linemen. Those games you guys run up front and now have an Arden Key in the mix, how much better is that for you guys? It was more successful with that last week. Um, I, 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 I want to say just – it's the guys. I, I think it, it's the willing to um, work together. You know, um, and, and no matter if you run a two-man game, four-man game, we all have to be on the same page. We all have to work together to be able to um, accomplish that goal. And um, that goal is to run a great game and get a sack. But um, you know, everyone just um, not being selfish. Everyone working together. We're trying to um, get to one goal, and that's win. And I think last week showed that. You know, no one being selfish and everybody on the same page. After the game, Harden was talking about how. It may not have always been a call stunt or whatnot. You guys are just playing off each other naturally. What makes you able to do that so quickly? I mean, it's a, the the timing and um, camp. You know, that's what we work for. Um, OTAs, camp, and so far on. I think that's what we practice for. It, being able to learn your teammates. Um, like I know, like right now, I know what Arden's gonna do. I know if I see this matchup over here on the right side, I know what's there. I, I know he's gonna take it. And the same thing with me. He know if I'm rushing against a guard and I tell him, hey, I, can, I got him, like he know that we're gonna work together. He's gonna cover me, I'm gonna cover him, whatever it may be. You know, just that feeling, um, knowing that you can trust your guys on the field that um, he'll make you right. He's he gonna be just fine. He's gonna be fine. And I talked to Harold and I told him just let it come to him. Uh, you know, when you when you miss a whole year of football, and I, I didn't miss a whole year of football, but I know that mindset. It's, I need to make a play. I need to get a sack. I just told him let it come, let him come to you. So I'm in a hot tub Monday uh, after the game, and I, that's what my message was to him. And I, and I know he'll be just fine. Yeah, obviously two really good players on the edge too, for sure. So you know, just gotta be aware of that, and two really good linebackers. So. Um, just got to be ready to, to attack that and, and be ready for all the different looks they'll show. As far as communication, you guys working together, how do you think all that went and how much better should it go as the weeks go? Yeah, I was pretty happy with how that went. Um, I think, you know, especially given the environment, I think we did a nice job, but always stuff to work on and improve on and things are just going to get more complex this week, so it's going to be got to be on top of that. Yeah, you know, obviously really physical. They did a really nice job against the run. 
uh, last week. So, you know, it's just, you know, got to be able to handle all their looks and everything they can do up front and handle their players. So. Yeah, yeah. I think the only people who really know what the actual grades are are the people in this building, to be honest, and because we know what plays and know what techniques we got to execute. Um, so, you know, obviously definitely stuff to work on and stuff I wasn't happy with. So just kind of making being intentional about that this week and working on it. What was the the team here last year? Yeah, you know, obviously you want to get one, um, but you just got to keep going. It's a long season. You know, another great opponent here, so got to move on and get ready to play. You know, not dwell on too much in the past game. You know, learn from our mistakes and get ready for the next opponent, which is obviously a really good one. So, is that, be ready. Hard, is that hard to do? Not really. No, I think you know you can't be ignorant of the challenge that's coming up. So you have to. You have to it's kind of forces you to move on almost. Michael said the other day. Yeah, for sure. I think that's you know my first goal is to sort of prove that I can that I belong and I can play in the league. And um, you know, not, I don't know if that necessarily happens in one game, but that is kind of my first goal, first and foremost. And so that's what I want to be able to do and help us win. Right, so we're going to expect that, but uh, you know, I got to be able to us corners have to be able to show up and tack on the edge, you know, to stop the run. Man, we got to do our job on our side, you know, because they have some guys too. Awesome. Then on the passing side, but obviously Herbert, a guy that can move around, he's got that rocket arm, mm -hmm. you know, he can pretty much throw from anywhere on the field. How, how cognizant do you have to be, you know, when he gets out of the pocket and does his thing? Uh, you have to be very, um, you know, like I said, he can make, like you said, he can make all the throws. Uh, but we just want to make sure we make sure he throws the ball in front of us, not over the top of us, you know. Uh, and I feel like if we do that, you know, eliminate the X plays, we'll be in good shape. Uh, I mean, it's a challenge every week in this league. Uh, you're going to face different skill sets, different guys, you know, big or small. So uh, it's going to be on us, you know, to identify what their strength is. And obviously we think that's, you know, throwing the ball, they can also run it. But, uh, you know, just doing our part, you know, in the back end, you know, making sure we're all on the same page, making the right checks and uh, keeping the ball in front of us. Uh, it's just his arm strength, you know, like like we said, he can make every throw, literally. So, uh, and most quarterbacks, you know, they can make every throw, but he's like, accurate with every throw, you know, and he can make the throws on the run. So it's just going to be on us, you know, at all three levels, you know, containing him, keeping him in the pocket, uh, and also keeping the ball, keeping all the receivers in front of us. That way we don't let them have X players.